This video is not sponsored. I am just kind of blown away that I'm not hearing more people talk about both of these affordable drugstore foundations. I think I've heard maybe one or two people mention both of these foundations and it just doesn't make much sense to me because they seem pretty fantastic. They're both from NYX. NYX, I don't even think knows I exist. So I have no reason for doing this video other than to tell you about these foundations. If you haven't tried them, you may want to look into them for various reasons. Over the past month or so, I've tried both the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation, which I talked about in my May monthly favorite favorites. And this one that I picked up on a whim because I saw it on an end cap in Ulta is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. These are completely different from each other, but they're both fantastic. I'm going to read a little bit about these foundations and show you what they look like on my skin. In my foundation road test and every time I do foundation reviews, I will link that playlist down below for you guys too so you can kind of see how I operate. I didn't do a full foundation road test, foundation review on these because I was really just kind of trying them out on my own first and this kind of came to me last night when I had this on. So I'll show you this on my face and I have this on now and I'm going to show you the application of this before I go through it. I'm going to cover this one first. It's for um, a more limited skin type than this one, which is for more universal skin types. There are some similarities between the two foundations. They both smooth the skin really nicely and make the pores look really beautiful even though there's two completely different levels of coverage two different finishes they both do really great things for the appearance of the skin which is why i'm here telling you about them today i've heard maybe less than a handful of people talk about both of these and you guys need to know about them i've been wearing them multiple days for several weeks and i I know how they work with my skin. I always set with powder. I've worn them with multiple primers. I've worn them without primers. I always prefer to use a primer, especially right now when it is so hot and humid here. I have combination skin with an oily T-zone. I live in a hot and humid climate and I need something that's just not gonna slide off my face and primers do help with that. I'll put a list down below of the primers that I've used and the powders that I've used. I didn't have an issue with any primer or powder that I used with either of these. So just wanted to let you know that. And you're gonna have your primers and your powders that you like, but these are the ones that just work for me. So I just, I'll have those down below for you. They describe NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop as being lightweight, waterproof, and super pigmented. It's a full coverage, comfortable liquid formula that comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. It glides on smoothly, delivers matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours. It works hard to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long. It is non-comedogenic and suitable for normal, oily, combination, and sensitive skin types. So you notice they don't mention dry skin in their description and that is for a reason. Although it is matte, it's not flat matte. It is not unflattering. It looks really good on the skin and it does last through heat and humidity. Now, as far as transfer goes, I'm not someone that just wipes my clothes across my face or anything like that. I didn't notice an issue with transfer. I did blow my nose and it didn't come off a lot when I blew my nose while I was wearing this foundation. It does have a nice pump bottle. The cap is kind of chintzy, but it is an affordable foundation, so I'm not going to fault it that. I do like that it does have a pump. It is priced at $15. You can always find NYX products on sale on the NYX website right now. They have 20% off on Ulta's website. They're having buy one, get one 50% off. So you very rarely pay the full $15 for this foundation, but even if you did, that's still a pretty good price for foundations these days. This is medium to full coverage. You can shear it out with a beauty blender somewhat and get medium, medium full coverage. It covers really, really well and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask. It does set very quickly, so you do have to work kind of quickly. I just did an update of my how to apply Estee Lauder double wear without looking cakey. I like to apply this in that same manner because it does set rather quickly. It is buildable and because it is so full coverage, I do like to apply it in light layers and just build it where necessary so it doesn't get cakey looking. But I really like this foundation. You can see how it looks on the skin. It's really 
really nice looking while still giving you that coverage. It just doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey or anything like that. And I just don't know why people are not talking about this foundation. If you have oily combination skin, if you live in a very hot, very humid environment and you're worried about your makeup slipping off during the day, I would not hesitate to pick this up and try it, especially for the price point at which you can get it. It is a really nice foundation. NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil was an impulse purchase for me. I saw it on the end cap at Ulta and I had never seen it before. I didn't even look at the description of it really. I just decided I was going to get it. There are 12 shades. So the shade range is kind of limited, but that is kind of how skin tints and CC creams and things like that are because each shade is designed to meld into multiple different skin tones. I picked up two shades because I could not tell which shade I was gonna be. It kinda looked like beige camel was gonna be too dark and too yellow, and it looked like true beige buff was gonna be too light. So I thought I was gonna end up mixing them. That did not work. Mixing them was still too light. True beige buff was really light. And although even on the skin, the beige camel, I keep having to look at the name, beige camel does look very yellow. It blends into the skin pretty nicely. That is what I have on my face today is just the beige camel shade. So just know it is pretty yellow looking, but once it blends into the skin, it just kind of blends in really nicely. They are giving you 0.91 ounces of product. I don't know why they don't give you a full ounce and they price it at $13. So to me, they could have just, you know, up to that price a dollar and given a full ounce. I'm not sure what the thinking was there. This is a lightweight tinted cream with a seamless satiny finish to help you achieve the ultimate fresh faced, no makeup makeup look. Simply smooth this weightless formula onto the complexion for light breathable coverage. Each flexible hue feels like a second skin and delivers up to eight hours of hydration. A hydrating creamy formula that never feels heavy or cakey. This non-comedogenic formula is infused with aloe and cucumber extracts. If you want lightweight hydrating coverage that lets you show off those freckles, Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil is your new makeup must have. It is a vegan formula with no animal derived ingredients or byproducts and all NYX products are cruelty free. So I do show the application of this for you guys because I wanted you to see that this is a formula that you can and dot all over your face and use a brush. If you have seen any of my foundation reviews, foundation road test, you know I'm not typically a foundation brush lover. I feel like it takes a little bit longer. It does tend to be streaky with a lot of foundations. This is a foundation that you can use your fingers. If you like to use your fingers, you can use a brush. If you like to use a brush and it doesn't get streaky at all and it applies pretty quickly. If you want to use a sponge, you can, but it's going to really sheer out that coverage. Sometimes with foundations like this, I like to use a dry sponge because it doesn't shear it out as much. So if you are someone who likes to use a sponge, a dry sponge is the way to go. I do that with foundations like this that are kind of sheer if I'm not wanting to use a brush. I feel like whatever tool you want to use, this is very flexible for you. I also think this is very flexible with coverage. It gives you more coverage than what the description says. While the name is Bear With Me and the description makes it seem like it is just this really light skin tint, you get more coverage with this product if you want more coverage. And it does build pretty nicely. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting just to get a skin tint. That's what the name is. So I was pleasantly surprised by this product in that I got more coverage. You can see in the application, I was able to build it. And what I have on today, I mean, I have really nice coverage on. I would not hesitate to wear this to work or wherever I was going. This is not just a no makeup makeup look, clearly. You can get a no makeup makeup look if you want it, but you don't have to. I feel like this is a truly flexible formula that you could bring on vacation or you could wear it to work. So if you're traveling and need a multi-use foundation, this would be a great one. The description focuses on the hydration aspect of this product. It does feel hydrating. It does feel like there's not anything on my skin, which is 
really nice, but I never feel like I get greasy with this on. Yes, I do have to blot one or two times during the day, which is normal for me when I'm not wearing a truly mattifying product like this. But usually when I'm dealing with a skin tint or you know some kind of a hydrating formula, I'm expecting greasiness pretty quickly. And this is pretty good on my skin. I feel like this truly does span different skin types, dry skin, normal skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, combination skin, all the skins. Now you're not gonna get all day wear out of Bear With Me Skin Tint Veil like you would from Can't Stop Won't Stop, but these are not really comparable foundations here. You'll get about eight hours before it starts to kind of break down a little bit, but I don't feel like it broke down in a horrible way. I do feel if you kind of maintain it, when it starts getting to that point, if you blot it a little bit, you'll be okay. It's nice. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, especially with it being hydrating. I think it looks good on the skin. If you want the tint and just a sheer veil of color, you have it. When you build it, it still looks really good. It doesn't look like you have built it and it's caked up or anything like that. I've heard very few people speak of this NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil and more people need to know about it for sure. These are both really great products for very different purposes, different skin types. One is for a very specific skin type. The other one is more universal. Let me know if you have tried either of these and how you feel about them. I have just been super impressed. Again, NYX has no idea I even exist. I just think these are fantastic and I wanted to tell you guys about them. If you want to see other foundations that I love, if you are looking for other foundations that may be great for you, I have a top foundations playlist. I will link it. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.